Yes, everyone, we're back out here, down in the old field, Digger's Den, Tyson Fury, sweating, killing himself. <sighs> sure he ain't, got loads of people shouting. Not sure if they're shouting at the old Digger Den, or they're just shouting at me. Right, guys, we're out. I managed to get out on the lovely field today. Um, me wife, I was moaning, she said I was miserable. She said, get out, you're doing me head in, so she kicked me out. Right, guys, not gonna bore you with a massive intro. Oh, one big thing. I wanted to do a big shout out to me old mate PJ. PJ, go over and check him out, guys. Detect him with PJ. What an absolute funny fella he is. Uh, he has hate mail, which I love. I love the most. I love his hate mail that he gets. Um, he's a brilliant detectorist. He's, a, he's one of the funniest detectorists I've probably ever met. So, guys, pop over and go and check out Detect him with PJ. And uh, I'm going to get on. I'm going to get down to the edge of the field and I'm going to uh, show you what we're using, what settings we're going with, and. Uh, and we're going to attack it. I'll see you guys when we get down to the end. I'll see you guys in a minute. What an absolutely lovely day, guys. Check that out. Blue skies, about 32 degrees in Kent. The farmers dragged the rest of the field. It looks absolutely lovely. And as you guys know, I'd like to give you a quick rundown on the machine we're using. You always know that I'm using the Ace 400i until I get the uh, Apex. Um, the 15 inch coil, what an absolute wicked call that is. Tornado coil, got it from Regton. Brilliant call that is done, it's absolutely worked perfect on the 400i. Um, today's settings, we're going to go all metal mode um, and we're going to uh, we're going to discriminate the first three today. We're going to discriminate the first three and we're going to have sensitivity one from max and we're going to give that a go and see what we can't uh, pull out of this lovely land. We're going to make our way on up up this way, there's a footpath just there, so we're going to make our way off up that way and uh, see what we can't find. Right, I will see you, there's the wiggly thumb Rob, at the first. See you there. We're on to our first hole, just got it out, it was ringing up at a, uh, <coughs> between a 79, 83 and a 64, it's still in here, it's out the hole. Uh, oh. Heck is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's a that's a part of a kid's toy, I believe. Part of a train, a lead wheel. I think it's for a part of a train. Anyway, I found I found I have had a few few of these in the past, and a few people have said they're uh, they they're like kids um they're like a kid's toy. But yeah, first item. Some sort of yeah, could be. I think it is anyway. All right, guys, can't argue with that with the first hole. It onwards and upwards and it's I'll see you at the next. Right guys, I've dug a few pieces of lead but I've just come across a real nice, check this out, nice, it's quite a solid, it's got a little bit of as you know, it's quite a little, it sounds like there's a bit of junk there but that is quite a nice solid signal there, I'd say apart from the jumping with the trash there, yeah I'd say that's a uh, 79. 79 to an 81. Right, let's dig that and uh, let's see what that is. Right, see you in a minute. I hope the sun's not too bad for you guys. Right, that in that hole then was a... That's why it had a... It was quite solid, it was jumping a bit as you see on the... Um, on the garret there, it was jumping a, a slight bit, so... Uh, yeah, it was lead. But yeah, it's a little bag still. I'm not sure if there's anything written on. Oh yeah, there's a little, there's a little bit of writing at the top there. I find loads of these bag seals on this part of the land, on this part of land here. I've had quite a few bag seals from over there. I've had a lot from up the top as well. So yeah, can't complain with that. It's another bag seal. Whew. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Right, these mosquitoes are on a pub pub crawl. There's thousands above me head, so I'm gonna crack on and I will see you at the next. I'm uh, slightly getting somewhere, but it's absolutely baking. Oh, I know what this is. It's a, yep, it's a dress weight. Or some people like to call them a hem weight. Give you a lovely uh, signal on the garret. Jumps about a little bit. But it's one of them ones. And it's a, uh, oh, it's a, uh, let's crack on and I will see you at the next. Quite easy to walk on this ground. <clears throat> it does a, uh, it does get a bit hard, especially in the heat. And we've just come across, we've been digging a few holes. Where did you just disappear to? Where did that just go? I found it and, oh there it is. 
it's another bag seal this one's in a bit better condition than the last Everything written on there. Can't really see with the old sunlight. It's absolutely blinding up here. But yeah. It's another bag still. I'm not going to complain at that. Right. Let's crack on. And I will see you. At the next. Alright guys. We've been going for a while now. <clears throat> and uh, we've had some bits of junk. Some cans and that. But I've just come across a really nice signal there. Between a 60 and a 78. Right, as you can see, like there's a lot of trash there, but just on the edge of the coal there. You can just hear it, just there. Give yourself plenty of room to work with. Let's dig it out and see what she is. Right, see you in a minute. Right, says so it's out the hole. Find out what she is. Yeah, I could see ya. Hey, it's a little lead man. And this one's standing up. Oh, he's got no arm. He's got no arm. He's got one arm. No head. No other arm. No feet. But it's a lead fella. I like finding these um these little lead soldiers and lead figures and all these lead lead sort of kids items. That must have been when they was kids. Because I tell you what, they must have uh, must have been quite heavy. Because these these do weigh a little bit, you know. Yeah, kids must have well enjoyed playing with them. Right, let's crack on. I'll see you guys at the next. This one, guys, was jumping absolutely crazy. Check this out. Piece of lead. Cut into a 50 pence piece or a 20 pence piece. It's about the same size as a 20 pence piece. Someone's probably took their time to sit there cutting that. But yeah. <laughs> right, not going to complain with that. Someone's had some fun. Right, guys, onwards and upwards, and I will see you at the next. Right, guys, yeah, it's uh, a nice little signal there. It's got a little, it's a bit of trash around it, as you can hear there. Just going into it, though, it's quite a solid signal, about an 83, 84. Right, let's see what that is. Right, let's dig it out. I'll be back with you in a minute, guys, and we'll uh, see what she is. <clears throat> it says it's out the hole, so we're going to see where. Uh... Oh, I'll oh, mind the uh, noise of the garret there, guys. Right, well, I got it. It's another bag seal. Let's turn around so we've got the uh, sun out of the way. Yeah, it's another bag seal there, guys. What do you think of that? That's quite a nice one, that one. Uh, it's got some white in there on the back, and it's... I can see it's got a few numbers there. I can't really see this old sun. It's absolutely blinding, and it's hitting the phone and going straight back into my eyes, so I can't absolutely see anything. But, yeah, it's another bag seal. They're quite nice. I do like collecting these. Absolutely got loads of them. I found two today, and this one makes my third. Right, guys, onwards and upwards, and I will see you at the next. Oh, we dug a few holes there, and uh, looks like we're on to our first coin. There she is. This one was uh, this was quite deep. This one, the soil was absolutely lovely and dry, and it's easy to get through. Uh, oh, I can see something on that. I know what I'll do, I'll get me uh let's put her on there for a sec. Let's get me a uh, water bottle out. There she is. There it is. The old spray bottle. I don't know if you can see who this is. Well I can't because the sun's actually beaming off my phone, so I can't see anything. If you guys can see anything. I'm not sure if you can. This sun might actually just be killing it. The mud's like really sticky as well. Um, oh, let me have a little look. Yep, I can see it. That's an Edward, I believe. Looks like Edward Halfpenny. The date is. I can't see the date. The date would be just down there on the bottom, but I can't see the date. Oh, well, first coin of the day. 
Can't argue with that. Onwards and upwards, and I will see you at the next. Right, guys, check this out. <clears throat> quite, it's quite deep. It's on the edge, right deep. That is, that's right on the edge of it, basically. That's an 83, 84. Just there. Right, let's dig that out and we'll see what that is. Right, guys, back to you in a minute. Well, what can I say? I think I'm on to my first silver of the day. Just here. What is that? Whatever that is. Oh, it's an Edward. Got an Edward. That's an Edward. What is it? Oh, Edward Sixpence, I think that is. Yep, that's first silver of the day. Give that a good rub. Yep, first silver of the day. Get in there, come on. Not going to argue with that. It's lovely and burnt. It's an Edward. It is a sixpence. It is an absolutely lovely coin. First silver of the day. Tyson's happy. Right, onwards and upwards, and I'll see you at the next. Right, well, I know it was in that one then. That was making that ping like that. Check this out. I know exactly what that is. I've got about seven or eight of these. That is the Royal Buffs Hat Military Badge. Cool, I've got that out. Perfect. Hat Military Badge. Um... Without the Royal Buffs written on the bottom, because usually it, has a, it would have a Royal Buffs written around the bottom just there. It's actually got the towel with towel still connected. Not many of I found that still got the towel connected, but it's not got the bottom bit. But that is an absolutely stunning find. These are these I, 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 out of most things I like to find. Um, these military badges they are they do seem to uh, stand out a lot more to me because I, I think they were it was a personal item to somebody. Do you know what I mean? It was an actual. Uh, it was somebody's regiment badge and it was actually something personal to them. So I do like to find things like this. It does mean a lot. Right. Instead of me mumbling on, let's crack on. And I'll see you at the next. Right, guys. That signal, absolute banging signal, check this out. At first I thought it was a piece of pipe. Just a piece of copper pipe. But then I picked it up and I dropped it. Check this out. Not sure if that's silver or not. It looks silver. I have no idea. Oh look. Has that got someone's name on that there? No, I can't see anything. I'm not sure with that. I think that is silver, you know. Could it be part of a walking stick or something? I've got no idea what that is. Is that in there? No, I've got no idea what that is, guys. I think that is silver, though. Look at the patterns on that. Look at them patterns. I think that definitely is silver. It ain't a pendant or something. It's too heavy. It's something that hang off your neck. Check that out. That is absolutely stunning, that is. God, that's the best find I've had in months. I absolutely love that. Right guys, I don't know what that is, I will uh, do a bit of investigation when I get home and uh, probably let you know by putting something up the side there, but that is absolutely lovely, that is, look at that. And if I might, maybe if I can get that clean, it might have someone's name there. But yeah, that's definitely silver. Get in there. One silver coin, one silver, not sure what that is, but we will find out and let you guys know and I'm going to crack on and see you guys at the next. Onwards and upwards. Found my first Roman in this field. Check 
this out. Oh, sorry about that, flies everywhere. Look at this. I think that is definitely a Roman. Come on, Tyson, well done, get in. That's, I think that definitely is a Roman. I think I could just about make something out there. But I can on the back. I think I can see. I picked it up and thought it was lead seal at first, and then, then Coles dropped it and went and grabbed my phone. And yeah, I think I found myself the first Roman off this field. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder what could have been on here. Oh, sorry. But yeah, first Roman. Get in there. This field is connected to the field where I recently had a, the last couple of uh, Romans out of. It's the, it's the field right next door, to be honest with you. Right, literally right next door to this one. So yeah, check that out. Get in there, Tyson. Yes, two silvers. Well, one silver, one silver item, and a Roman. Hey, look at that! An absolutely stunning find. Right. Oh, onwards and upwards. Wiggly thumb, Rob. Onwards and upwards, and I'll see you guys at the next. I am sunburnt, I think. I'm absolutely oh, struggling to get down to the floor level. <laughs> right. This was quite a pinging signal. I've, I've been trying to um, record as well as do the metal detecting, but my, I've, I've got such a bad nerve condition in my arm. I'm finding it really hard to do that at the moment. But it's healing, hopefully. And uh, hopefully I'll be back to uh, my normal way pretty soon. All right, yeah, it's a lovely button. It's got a lovely little bit of pattern on it. Um, not going to scratch it too hard because, as you can see, all, all the pewter's coming off around there. So I only go and rub it and scratch it, and it's just going to literally rip it. So I'll give it a little clean up when I get home and uh, stick a little picture up there if I can get anything off it. Otherwise, all right, guys. Oh, something's on my neck. Oh, hang on. Okay, it was crawling on my neck then. I ate that. All right, onwards and upwards, and I will see you at the next. All right guys, this one was reading up as a 74 on the Garrett and guess what it is? Tyson's on the silver. Oh yes he is. Get in there Tyson. That's a young Vicky. A young Vicky Frippence. That's a young young Vicky Frippence that is. It's a lovely silver coin. I love finding silvers. What an absolute stunning day I've had so far. I haven't had a day <coughs> I haven't had a day like this in weeks. I ain't found any silvers in a while. And I'm back on the walkway. I'm back on the silvers. A very nice young Vicky. Date on the bottom is. Oh, it won't be on the bottom, it's halfway up. 1873. Little bit worn, little bit scratched. Second silver coin of the day. One silver, what weird item, whatever that was. Not much left in me now. Gonna crack on for another 10 minutes and I will see you guys at the next. I'll get in there. Let's go. Alright, as you know, it said it was out of the hole. Oh, oh, here it is. It's a wash off. Ants over me. Oh, let me just turn that pinpoint off. A washer. You have a great big hole in the middle. There's a washer. Oh, what's that? Is that a face? Nah, no, can't be a face on there, can it? Is that a face on there? It's a coin, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's an actual coin. Guy's got a perfect round hole in the middle of it. But that was a washer. Here's actually a coin. It's a coin with hole in it. Is that George on there? Could that be George? Got no idea who that is on there. But he's got a hole right through his head. Strangest thing I've seen in ages. Right. 
Let's crack on. See you at the next. Right. Made it back to the car. Right, a little roundup of what we got. Edward, Penny, nice lead fella. Buffs Royal Military Badge. I've gave this a little tiny little clean. I think that is Napoleon the Third. I've had one of his coins before. It has, it, like the hammered coins, it has these like writings around them. But I believe that's that there he is. Yeah, that's Napoleon the Third. Lovely coin that is. Right, as you know, we've got some lead bits, lead wheels. I'm not too sure what they were. Got two of them. And where's the other one gone? I've got another one. Or was that it? It might have been it. No, there's the other one. Because I'm blind. I'm not sure if they're all the same thing or not. Lead seals. A few lead bag seals. Two lead bag seals. Three. Uh, this, this 20 pence piece made out of lead. Uh, another bit of lead that I've found there. Half penny. Silvers of the Roman of the day. Look at that. Lovely Roman coin there. Right, you've got a... Edward Sixpence, not too sure on the date. Uh, I'll give it a proper clean up when we get home. Can't see nothing. And a nice Vicky, threepence. An absolute stunning date. And guys, guess what? This opened up. I think it was a pen. I think it was some sort of pen, some kind of pen. So about the car just going past, guys. But yeah, I believe that was some kind of pen. Right, right guys, how you doing bud, alright? Right guys, sorry about that, just shouting to a friend of mine. It's up, was and upwards, and I'll see you at my next adventure. See you there.